After being on the shelf for more than 500 days, Texas Rangers starting pitcher Jacob deGrom returns to action to face the Seattle Mariners. We'll break it down for you guys with a look on a total. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. Who do you guys like tonight in the MLB, whether it be a side, a total, or a player prop? Let us know in the comments section, and I'll respond back to you guys. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel, and do me a favor, if you enjoy this content, hit that like button. So we took a tough loss last night. Uh, we had the under three and a half in the first five, only two in this very game, Texas, Seattle. Only two runs heading into the bottom of the fifth before Seattle scores three on the Rangers' bullpen. They had pulled Rocker at that point, unfortunately. So we'll look to bounce back today in the same game. We got Texas at Seattle. First pitch, 10-10 p.m. Eastern from T-Mobile Ballpark. Mariners still lead the season series 5-2 despite taking the loss last night 5-4. And today we see Texas favored at minus 130, Seattle plus 110, another low total. Makes sense. It's a Mariners game at T-Mobile Ballpark at 7. We got the former Cy Young pitcher Jacob DeGrom returning to action like we said tonight. He's going up against Emerson Hancock, another right-hander. Hancock's 3-4 and four on the year with a 4-7-6 ERA. He's coming off a start where only lasted four innings, but he only allowed two earned runs at home against Toronto. And Hancock has just been much better at home, like many of these Mariners starters, honestly. At home, he has a 3.09 ERA and a 2.27 OBA on the road. Shoots all the way up to an 8.78 ERA and a 3.22 OBA. But Hancock has been uh, steady at home. On the other side of things, we've got DeGrom returning to action after 503 days on the IL. He's had four minor league starts, and he's been really sharp. Ten and two-thirds innings, 15 strikeouts, only one walk, and that resulted in a 1-5-0 ERA. Guys, make it short and sweet here. We're not going to talk about the bullpens. We're going right back to the well. Under three and a half in the first five. It's going to be the official play for the video. Sitting at negative 105 right now, not a bad price. Uh, Seattle has played to the under at home more than any team in the American League, more than any team in the entire majors outside of Atlanta. Texas, fifth most unders uh, in all games, where no matter where they play. And these teams rank 20th and 22nd in first five scoring. I think DeGrom is going to be fired up. I think he's going to be sharp. He, we can't expect him to pitch very deep into this game. But I think we can get a strong four or five innings out of him. I think Hancock can handle business against this Rangers lineup, especially without Corey Seager pitching at home. So we'll go back to this under three and a half, and hopefully we don't have an explosion again in the bottom of the fifth. Guys, I still have that great promo code over at sportsmemo.com. Steve25, S-T-E-V-E, 25. Gets you 25% off anything on my page daily. Weekly, monthly, you name it. I would suggest an all-access pass for a 30-day all-access pass. Goes under $6 per day with that deal. We've pulled a profit now in 10 of the last 14 days. And we're number one in the MLB since mid-June. As always, there is a link to my sports memo page in the pinned comment. Official play for the video. First five under three and a half, minus 105. I always have free plays posted at sportsmemo.com as well as on Twitter at stevesbook22. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button on the way out, and good luck tonight.